Welcome to video number two of Cognos 11 Analytics by Bharti DW Company. In the previous video, we have seen how to create data module. In this video, we are going to use the same data module and we would create a report in Cognos 11. Click on this new button when you have IBM Cognos Analytics. Click on report. <clears throat> and then you would be presented by templates. With templates to select. You would select any of the templates like one beside two normal, one beside two active reports, one column, one column active, so on and so on. I select one beside two. I click on OK. It opens up what you call it as report studios area. It's not really a report studio, but you can use analogy towards being a report studio. Click on add report data. This means you would select a package. You can sorry, you can see here the package sign too. So add report data. We created sales by channel and then I'll just walk you through this to data items at this point in time we do not have any items added in this page you have three plus signs this means that if you click on it it means that you can add a list cross tab chart text block that's cool isn't it on the left hand side you see a tool which is our own toolbox but this is now arranged in a fashion that it's pinned that means it's available in this plus sign textual layout container we'll talk about this in things to come very important or interesting thing to note is in the data container you have something known as visualization we'll talk about it <clears throat> and at the very end it's navigate this is basically your page explorer in which you, you will get page one prompt pages and this is the page one which you are working at. <clears throat> Sorry. So these are the queries. We don't have a query yet. So we'll we'll talk about it as and when we go. Going back to data, I'm gonna add our own list report here. It'll ask for the query. This is same as report studio and this listed added. I'm going to create a report with country city or location and sales I don't want this so I can get rid of this And I can say go at the top. Next, here I'm going to add a chart. I can select these are really good charts. Many of them identical to 10.2. Uh, let me pick this chart up. see how sleek it has gone now it says default measure I'm going 
can drop since so now primary axis I'm gonna drop country and categories I'm gonna drop channel type and then in the very last uh, let's add cross tab so cross tab added I'm gonna add country location and customer name in the rows and item category in the columns I'm gonna add sales amount and sales quantity like this within the item category very similar to Cognos 10.2 very very simple and this is the header i'm gonna say why my first report i can make it bold take me the size very intuitive like this is this is very very intuitive you can learn it really easy and once this is created i can get rid of double click to edit text but for now let it let it be there. In order to run it, I have now a couple of options. I can click on this run options, or I can say page views, and I can say page preview. You can see that this report is run, and now it gives me an option to see the data. I can click on this I can sort so this is a dynamic sorting which is now available as part of this preview I can go to page structure and this is basically very similar to what we had in Cognos 10.2 going back to page design and I'm going to save this report and I'll say my first report. There you go. You can run it by here and it will open up the report. In the next video, I'm going to do and show you how to create prompts, how to create filters, how to make reports interactive and how to use this interesting new functionality of visualization in the next video thank you for watching